I just looked at my wrist, I got time today. Fuck it, I'm crossing the line today. Don't go against me, then ask for my help. Go get out your feelings and get it yourself. <laughs> the state of the black community is a little bit perplexing. In the same breath, people will say black lives matter. We'll see black people attacking other black people and turn a blind eye and then turn around and watch shady individuals helping the government to entrap other individuals just because they get caught up in bullshit. Like, it's crazy how our black people will sit here and watch people rise from the bottom to the top, ignore all the good deeds they do for their community, and then be the first ones to say, why do they leave the hood when they'll just be a target if they stay in the hood? It's easy for people who haven't lived through certain things to be so judgmental. And when I see these record labels preying on individuals who they know have no financial literacy, putting them in these contracts knowing they probably haven't even read two sentences from them, and exploiting their talents for their personal gain, I find it crazy that our people will also help these individuals spread false narratives and rumors to tear down these individuals once they're done with them in the industry with all this gossiping and all this beefing on the internet how many people are talking about the fact that now in black history month we have black colleges being threatened bomb threats so where is that same energy they had for this surviving R. Kelly premiere? I'm just saying. And all this energy all these people on the internet got implicating all these old conflicts among all these individuals linking them up as though they know every conflict that has emerged with these artists that could lead to tragedy while these individuals glorify this gangster lifestyle but they don't want to do that gangster time we overlook how so many generations grew up without the proper guidance in their lives whether it's male or females and we wonder how people are so misguided when it comes to misusing these resources and incriminating other individuals Take Robert Kelly, another example. Why isn't the media blasting how this man is approaching his appeal? Why aren't they updating the people at all these janky-ass people who have exposed themselves? Oh, I know, just like some of these fake-ass supporters who never caught on to the fact that I pointed out three years ago, ain't nothing none of these fake-ass associates could tell me, because ain't nobody gonna convince me this man is gonna sit through all this proceedings and not be able to tell his defense viable information to help his case and all these people need information off of YouTube when he should know all of this himself but guess what you can't reason with crazy people so I let each and every one of these individuals who made their way to me expose themselves to you I could have easily come out here many times and told people what I thought about each individual person that you see supporting Robert Kelly. But at the end of the day, what I believe, what I think, and what I feel is irrelevant. But what you saw play out in front of your face was a complete criminal conspiracy. And I laid it all out for you. It's up for you to rewind it pause check out what i put in front of you and evaluate the people you've been following period Oh, 
out, Trina, Triana, however you pronounce it. No, I didn't tag you. I tagged my decorators, but I did tell everybody I wanted to thank my entire team. Uh, there's too many names named by name everybody, but I tag because they deserve that credit. You get credit when credit is due, and they deserve that credit. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 